Karen. And Cherie, Katie Barnes was the first to take the stand today. She went to the Landon apartment complex twice on the night in question, both times for a domestic dispute. Well, the second time she found herself in a shootout. She was shot and prosecutors say the bullet missed killing her by just a fraction of an inch. Heard it loud, flash and a bang. Bullets flew outside of a Landon apartment. It's a sound I'll never forget. It's like a whizzing and a loud buzzing. One bullet hit Deputy Katie Barnes in the abdomen, but she didn't know it at first. When I went to put the new mag in my gun, the uh, just this the slight of my wrist <laughs> under above my watch, I looked down and I saw my shirt frayed and I uh, my wrist caught it and it was warm and wet. Today, she wiped away tears when recalling events of that night. June 9th of last year. Did you want everyone to rush into that scene at that time? No. Why not? I didn't know where he was and I did not want anybody coming <clears throat> into that complex. Barnes says her main concern was protecting other officers. Bleeding and shot, she made it around buildings, over a fence, and collapsed near her sergeant. In the meantime, the hunt was on for her shooter. For nearly seven hours, neighborhoods were on lockdown. 20-year-old Mohammed Lagawi was eventually arrested. Mohammed Lagawi is mentally ill. And his attorney says he should be found not guilty by reason of insanity. Nadim Qureshi says in the months leading up to the shooting, Lagawi showed signs of paranoia. He believed there was a snake in his stomach. And he tells the folks at Westchester Urgent Care, I have a snake in my throat that's trying to come out. And I know this because I've seen it. Qureshi says Lagawi would talk like an alien and even asked to be called Frank. And investigators say Legawi also shot his father in the hand that night and also shot at a neighbor. Now, prosecutors say the whole domestic dispute started because of, of a fight over hummus. Reporting live in Lebanon, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen.